Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, we've been sharing what the word of the Lord is for us this month. And I have shared with you from Haggai chapter 2 from verse 6. Now, we're, we're going to read verse 7. It says, And I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. And look at what he said in verse 8. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. Now, listen. The thing about working with the Lord, sometimes, you know, when, when, when you work with the Lord, you know, like people think, sometimes God can be slow, you know. You, you want to do this thing. You, you, you know what to do, you know. But uh, listen, Moses, I want you to get this. Moses was praying in a mountain. And then the voice of the Lord came to him. Remember when he saw the burning bush, actually. So he met the Lord and then he was talking with the Lord. And then the Lord says, you are going to Egypt and then you will bring them out. And when you come out, you will serve me on this mountain. Did you get that? That means Moses was at the spot that God said he should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt and bring them to this mountain to serve him. Now Moses went to Egypt and then he, he obeyed the word of the Lord. He brought the people out of Egypt. Now, he comes out of Egypt and then the Lord says, Moses, I'm going to lead you in this way. He said, okay, here's my angel. He will lead you by day. Kill a pillar of cloud by day. And in the night, he becomes a pillar of fire. And anywhere this pillar goes, you follow him, okay? Moses said, yes, sir. And then the angel starts leading them. And then the angel starts leading them in a different direction from the direction Moses knew. Remember, Moses walked to Egypt. He journeyed to Egypt. And when he was journeying to Egypt, there's no record that he crossed the Red Sea. I, I needed to understand something about the ways of God now. So they got, Moses traveled to Egypt and got the people out. And God says, I will personally lead you by my angel. He said, okay. And then the angel begins to go in a different direction from the direction Moses knew. And I'm sure Moses must have thought, okay, ah, maybe the angel knows a better way. You know, so let's just follow. And then where does the angel lead them to? An obstacle, the Red Sea. Now think about it. If you were Moses at that point, what would you have done? Think about it. Moses he knew the way. He knows, I mean, look, I came from this route. I, I followed this way. I know what I'm talking about. But God is now saying, follow the angel. And then the angel leads you to the Red Sea and does nothing and says nothing. He just stays there and stops. But you know what? God said, the reason I don't want to lead them through that route is because when they see war, they will get scared and they will leave. But I'm going to lead them through a route that is good for them. So in the process of time, I will prepare them. And that's the challenge with a lot of people. You think you know the way. So when the Spirit of God begins to guide in the way that you should go, you say, no, ah, ah, I think I know what to do. You don't know what to do. You know why? Every path the Lord leads you, he builds your capacity for where you're going to. So many times we take the shortcut. We get to the place, but we're not prepared to fulfill the will of God in that place. So we end up a mess. Even though you say the word, God says I will be this. And now you have gotten there by your own strength. You don't even know what God wants you to do next. Because listen, if God doesn't sponsor you, he's not going to manifest himself in you. I'm telling you the truth. So when the Lord is saying, that the silver is mine, the gold is mine. What's he saying? Listen, if I wanted to give you a billion dollars last year, I could have given it to you. Now, to God, there's no difference between this year and last year. To God, the difference is, would you obey me? So when he said, I will shake the heavens, I will shake the earth, and I will bring the desire of, nation, the desire of nations and fill this house with my glory. And then he says, the gold is mine, the silver is mine. Those of you that have been waiting on the Lord, it's your season. That's what the Lord is saying. It's your season. And listen, he's going to wipe away all those years of waiting. He will wipe them up in a moment. Praise God. Isn't that amazing? He's wiping them up in a moment. Now, you think you have spent four years doing nothing. Listen to me. By the time the Lord is done with you, 
you will realize that everything I needed to, to make it good, where he is taking me to now, I have been preparing for it for the last four years. Praise God. Just like Joseph. All the while he was in Potiphar's, from his father's house to Potiphar's house to the prison, God was teaching him management, how to manage the world economy. He, now, he didn't go to a formal school of management, but practically, he was doing management in his father's house. Then he began to do management in Potiphar's house. Then he began to do management in the prison. Now, the prison is where you manage all kinds of human beings. Now, God was preparing him to manage the whole world. Praise God. Now, that's the ways of God. That's why you follow him. Praise God. I've got to stop here. This is getting exciting. We're going to continue tomorrow. Praise God. Listen, the spirit of God is doing a big work inside of you. And you are about to see it. God bless you. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.